Hi there everybody, Kevin Mink with the Oklahoma County Conservation District coming to you from the Oklahoma City Zoo this morning. Uh, we're back to finalize our prairie plots out here. So I'm going to walk you through what we've done so far, uh, what we're going to do today, and we'll check in uh, once we show you what we're, uh, what we're doing. So this first plot that you're looking at here um, was our herbicide plot. Uh, we sprayed this a couple times throughout the summer with uh, a simple glyphosate solution, uh, basically Roundup that you'd find at the store. You can see that pretty much all the grass is dead. We've got a couple winter weeds coming up here. Um, but otherwise, it looks like we got pretty good kill. You can see the surrounding area it looks much different from where we sprayed. Uh, stepping forward here into our next plot, this is our tilled plot, which we have visited uh, two different times already. Once, once over the summer, once a little later in fall. Um, and so we're gonna till this again one more time today uh, before we add our seed in. Our fourth plot, or third plot here, pardon me, <laughs> is uh, our smothered plot. Uh, you can see we've pretty much covered the whole area with cardboard, uh, stapled it down with some landscape staples, a couple places where the grass has poked through, but I'm pretty sure underneath here we're going to find some pretty good, and we've gotten pretty good kill. In fact, just take a quick look here. Yeah, there we go. So we're going to pull all of this up today. Um, looks like we've gotten pretty, yeah, it's pretty gross. Um, Pretty good kill <laughs> there. Um, and this last plot was our solarized plot. You can see the remnants uh, of the plastic here. Looks like maybe the ice storm uh, ripped it apart a little between the ice and the wind. Um, but same thing, you can tell that we got a decent kill. Some of this is pretty gross. Coming right out of the ground, you know, it's not really rooted in there anymore. So those are our four experimental plots. Um, we didn't even plan it, but overnight we got one of the strongest frosts we've gotten this year so far. So we know we're at a good place to add our native seed. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna till all four of these plots. The main reason we're gonna till it is even though we've gotten this kill here in each of the plots, there's still a thick layer of vegetation on the ground and we really want to expose that soil so that when we add our seed, we get good seed to soil contact. So that's what we're here to do today. We're going to pull up all the rest of the plastic and cardboard, till this whole area, um, and then add our native seed. Uh, we'll show you the footage of that and then we'll check in afterwards. All right, so there you have it. Um, you just saw us pull up all the uh, plastic and cardboard. Uh, we tilled this entire area, and then we each spread some seed. You saw, you know, the four of us um, spread about the same amount of seed in each plot, which is the same size. So we're kind of going to see in the spring here which one of these techniques uh, work the best. You'll also notice we took the time after we spread the seed um, to kind of walk over, stomp it in, kick it in. We really want to make sure we get good seed to soil contact. Fortunately, the soil is nice and moist because we've had a little rain and the morning frost, so that is going to help with that. Uh, the other thing I want to know is we did spread the seed by hand. Part of the reason we do it by hand and not using a seed spreader is because it's a mix. When you use that seed spreader, it's going to throw the seed out uh, basically by size. You're going to get a kind of an uneven distribution of that seed. Doing it by hand kind of allows you to keep the, the mixture uh, relatively consistent uh, as you're spreading it. 
Um, so that's it. That's going to be our last check-in here uh, until the spring when things start to wake up. Uh, if you haven't seen our other videos leading up to this uh, moment, you can check them out on our YouTube channel uh, for Yard by Yard. Uh, if you have questions, reach out to us in the comment section. As always, uh, like us and leave us your feedback. Thanks, y'all.